There are over 800 artifacts that have been gathered from residential schools from across Canada. Uh, so there are things like tiles and shingles, a doorknob, um, two bedposts. Um, there's also photographs and ledgers, uh, student notes, uh, pictures of the buildings and pictures of graduating classes. Uh, I think the most difficult pieces for me are the two braids. Um, the artist's sister, um, they uh, sacrificed their braids in ceremony for the installation and for me that was the most difficult um, pieces to see. It reminded me that when children first arrived at the school that their hair was cut off. Um, they were deloused, they were showered and on and on and on and so for me those were um, difficult pieces to, to see here. Um, the other piece that was uh, challenging for me to see is the small handprints that are on the door. Um, it was a really strong reminder that these were just little children, very young, sometimes as young as three and four. My hope is that um, anyone who walks by the display uh, and begins to interact with this installation will begin to ask questions. Um, as I was interacting with people when we were setting things up here, I asked them, how did you learn about residential schools? And unfortunately, many of them said, I didn't learn about it in school. I, I learned about it when I came to university. I learned about residential schooling when I took my first Native Studies classes. There was questions. Why didn't we learn this earlier? This is a significant piece of Canadian history that's really been silenced for far too long.